<laughs> um, but you know, they come to you know, you don't go to you don't go to church uh most of your life, but then you die. You want to come to church, you bring the body to the you know, the preaching and they have what is that like for you though? Like so, cause, uh, I'm assuming you, you've done funerals. Uh-huh. So what is it like doing a funeral? Oh, well, first let me ask, do you do you do funerals for people that you don't know? I have. Okay. So do you do funerals for people who you don't know if they're believers or not? I have. So what is that like? <laughs> like, like, like what do you say in your sermon when you're doing a, a, a funeral for somebody who who you, you don't you you don't know what path they walked in life? Well, a funeral is um, for somebody that I especially I don't know is pretty much not. I'm not there to talk about that person. Um, when I uh, the people that have remarks, they talk about the person. Mm -hmm. They they pretty much give their eulogy. And when I get up to do the message, I'm talking to the people that are left because the person mm -hmm. that's dead can't hear me. I'm speaking to the audience. And of course, I can't center my message around that person. I center my message around life and the frailty of life and letting people know that this, you know, we all got to go this way. And, and so uh, it's not a difficult thing. And then I also introduce them because there are a lot of people that don't know God or don't know church or whatever. So I try to introduce that to them. And a lot of times but, uh, by my sermons, people will be very intrigued. Like, oh, I want to, you know, I, I never want to come here. You preach, where's your church at? And stuff. So, uh, yeah, so it's not it's not a big thing as far as that's concerned because I'm just I'm speaking to the people that's living. Yeah, so qu a quick side note um, for people who aren't into like you know who don't go to church regularly, funerals. Are, I think maybe funerals and maybe just funerals. A lot of people get saved at funerals. Uh, mm. it's, it's it's kind of number one. People are already raw and emotional. Yeah, emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it, I think it's easier for for your your words to, to kind of get get through very vulnerable mm -hmm. yeah um but 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 also just a quick side note i remember one time when i, I was playing for my, my old church for a funeral this was a, like a gang thing uh someone who was a victim of gang violence oh my and i remember it because uh so i, I i'm there early i'm at the organ and <laughs> on my way to church i see like a police van outside mm -hmm. right and so when I get there, my my uh, the, the pastor who's also my uncle, he tell he's telling me that uh, you know about the person who died and um um that the year that it was, like they were shot, and young guy he was maybe like early twenties, early twenties, late teens. I, I can't I, I remember uh because the positioning in my church, the organ was kind of right, the the the, the casket was right there, mm -hmm. so he, he, you know, I remember saying, wow, he's so young, and then you know putting as i'm playing i'm putting together this this picture in my mind I'm like wait a minute young, a gun violence guy the crowd was uh, insanely old um police van outside oh they worried about like a retaliation uh-huh <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting there thinking about um, all the ways in which i could escape <laughs> If something popped out of there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that popped off. So, so that's just. Uh. A, uh, but, but, but back to what I asked you. The reason why I asked you about the, you know, um, doing funerals for people who aren't believers is because some preachers, when they do funerals, it, they speak about people kind of as if they know where they're going to go based off of the doctrine. And I'm like, how you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't do that. Yeah, and I heard. I like right. you, you kind of yeah. keep it to let me work on the people who are in this this congregation versus uh, mm -hmm. you know lie to these people or even assume that you you you, you don't even know where your own members are going to go. You think you right. know, but you don't know. Well, well, basically, uh, especially when it comes to people that we do know, we kind of kind of you, you kind of know what kind of life they live, mm -hmm. and. If they, if, you know, we, 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 we assume, I mean, if you do what, you know, if you do what you're supposed to do, then pretty much, you know, I mean, most of us, if we, if somebody asks us where we going, if we die, most of us going to say, oh, we going to heaven, whatever, no matter how much stuff we doing or whatever. Uh, 60, but, 40, baby. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> 
You better, you better, up, you better up that. You better up that. 